Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for my beloved. I will all as well. I will all as blessed um, with you all. Um, I made a post yesterday, um, a block that I grew up on during my childhood. Uh, man, there was a, a very tragic fire that rippled uh one of these buildings you know where a lot of my friends some of my best friends resided in and it was just really tragic to see the story unfold um i received a message from my son's father who um you know let me know what was going on and when i looked up the information it just broke my heart so i just want to send prayers love you know light health and wellness strength to my Bronx family to those who resided in 333 that is a huge huge tragedy a huge loss and I just will that you know all of those who perished in that fire you know are you know at peace um, I actually recorded a reading on Saturn day for Scorpios, and it was a beautiful message for you guys. Um, pretty much just generally picking up the energy of that twin flame, you know, that, that kindred spirit that you have, and um, how this person is just needing to go through an ego death uh, before they come in. For anyone who may be new, my name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I'm intuitive, and I'm also clairaudient. Um, which means I definitely uh, pick up on messages in the music and I do incorporate music into my readings and they tend to blend very beautifully with the tarot message uh, cards or the tarot card messages. Um, the song that's playing right now is Bobby Brown's Tenderoni. So this song is pretty much like, you know, him having this epiphany that you know, he has a a, um, a greater love for a young lady. You know, she's his tenderoni. So that's somebody he can, you know, kick it with, love on, you know, have fun with, depend on. So this is perhaps someone having this epiphany about you, about this connection. Um, as I said, that reading that I did on Saturn's day, that was a very beautiful message. And it was a, mu a message just kind of showing this spiritual dance that you all are having it's like i very much feel like you and your twin are connected in the 5d you know but um in this 3d reality you're in separation so we're gonna pick up the energy see what's coming and going out going on um before we do let's call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, ascended masters, most high God, our creator to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the wise dome, the intuition, and the ability to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, vibrations of my cards, and so it is, so more to be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So... Let's go ahead and do it like this, like that. Bottom of the deck will be your overall energy, and we have happy ending. So there's something beautiful that is going to result in someone making this confession that you're their tender roadie, or that them realizing that they have greater feelings, um, deeper emotions, stronger attraction towards you. This happy ending is like a grand epiphany. Somebody's having like an aha moment. They've become illuminated. And it's because I feel somebody's been manifesting this. You know, maybe there's communication in the 5D, like I said, through lucid dreams, astral pra uh, traveling, uh, maybe intuitive and telepathic messages are coming through because this is an all yellow card. So maybe somebody has to muster up the strength, the courage, and it could definitely lead to a happy ending. You know, somebody's having to stand in their power, having to be more assertive, trust their abilities, and not question themselves so much. Um, this is something that's been like, you know, in the in the making. I feel like this is something that has been manifesting, and you've been waiting for this to to um, 
to blossom, perhaps. Bottom of the deck, we got spirituality, 77. So this 93, that reduces to 3, that's 12. So that 93, like I said, that definitely is showing me that somebody's having to, you know, lean on their strength, be more assertive, be more courageous, um, and trust the process. There's definite communication, like I said, intuitively, telepathically, we have spirituality, and this is the double seven seven. So I feel like because 77 reduces to 14, that's five, um, somebody is having to express themselves. They're having to communicate, stop living in their head, stop communicating um, intuitively, telepathically, or cerebrally. They need to communicate orally. They need to express themselves. They need to clear the air. I strongly feel like you have a very spiritual bond with someone. It's a very strong spiritual soul tie connection. There's an energy synergy, a connectivity, a chemistry that you share with someone and they've held on to you uh, mentally. It's like you, you you are with them in their mind, but their body is trapped somewhere else. That's just kind of like what I'm picking up. So let's see what we have. Um, I don't know why my music stopped. What is happening? I'm playing the... Um, Okay, there we go. All right, so next we have Al Green, and this is called I'm Glad You're Mine. Okay, so yeah, and that's probably why this happy ending is here, because I feel like somebody is finally going to express or verbalize um, their deep emotion. And with Al Green, um, that green uh, is, is kind of like standing out. So I do feel like, you know, somebody is realizing, as I said, just how strongly they feel, you know, with Tenderoni, and then you have I'm Glad Your Mind playing. I definitely feel like you. some of you all are going to um, accept someone's offer, uh, and I feel like it's because you also feel like this is a spiritual union. You know, this may be somebody that you already know, or you may have like a past life connection with this person. So what else is coming and going out, going on? What is the attitude of the person Scorpio is dealing with? We got adventure. So somebody wants to take this risk, this leap of faith. They're literally like, you know, they're going to be more daring. This is 55. So it's like they're walking away from something and they're, they're realizing they need to be more assertive. This is about like, you know, following your heart's truest passion, seeking joy out of life. The number 66. And so this is healing. So somebody's healing from, you know, some sort of... Um, circumstance that could have ended you know but they're willing to take a leap of faith because maybe they feel you know like there's balance you know they can they feel more grounded balanced and in alignment with you with the 66 healing maybe they feel you have a very healing energy you know you're very empathic you're very caring compassionate you're non-judgmental this person's willing and desiring to take some sort of risk you know and with I'm so glad your mind playing by Al Green, I feel like there's, you know, there's this this mutual uh, connection, synergy. You know, the 66 is a beautiful number that also reduces to 3 because that's 12. So I feel like there is a sense that, you know, through communication, a relationship can heal a relationship can be restored and I feel strongly there's been a lot of work put in action to heal you know in order to heal yourself you have to love yourself and when you love yourself you know yourself so this knowing this this number three you know that this reduces to this is you know literally like Standing in your power, standing your ground, speaking assertively, knowing your knowing your worth and value, discovering that through some pain, some loss, you know, through being juggled, mistreated. But there is a happy ending. This is the first card out of the deck. And then we have moderation. So what did I say before? There's some changes. You know, somebody is having to make changes. Because remember, we had 77 spirituality. So it's like they have to change 
from living in their heads, in their minds, and expressing, communicating their feelings, communicating what they deeply desire. This is green, so this is emotion, and they need to muster up the strength. This orange represents the sacral chakra. This green represents the heart chakra. But this 14 breaks down the five. So this is about expression. Someone's needing to make a change in the way that they communicate, express their feelings of love. Somebody has been unfortunately uh, misled in regards to um, what showing their feelings look like or what feelings represent. And right now we have a um, guy playing goodbye love. So somebody is, you know, perhaps leaving uh, some sort of karmic relationship, third party relationship. And they're, you know, they're changing how they feel about that circumstance. And they're, they're definitely going to have to heal from it because there could have been a lot of, um, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, with this 55 and adventure, it was like a bumpy ride. I'm hearing, you know, there was a lot of things that unwind. This is 1111. So this is your twin flame. I just saw 1111 on the clock. So this is somebody that you, you know, you're mirroring. That's why there's a happy ending because it's like you all have had to do, you know, this, this work separate of one another. And now I see you all coming into union with one another. But this moderations card is showing someone is making the necessary changes and mustering up the courage to come towards their divine feminine, divine masculine. You know, like I said, that sacral deals with sensuality, sexuality, attraction. It also deals with creativity. So someone is trying to birth a new idea, a new way of thinking in terms of this relationship and how they feel about you as healing. You know, so let's see what else is coming and going out, going on. Let's see what's hidden in the energies, divine spirit, what's hidden. So what's hidden is domestic harmony. So what's hidden is that you will have happiness and bliss. This happy ending and domestic harmony is showing that there is positive changes taking place. And there is green on the inside of this card, and it's all blue. So I do feel like through communication, um, you know, effective communication, you know, like, because communication is one of the key and vital points, you know, um, attributes of a relationship, you know, and so somebody's leaving a toxic connection with which they don't have any harmony, any peace, um, to come into this union with you. This 46 is an ending, but every ending denotes a brand new beginning. And in the brand new beginning, they're going to have this bliss, this emotional fulfillment. You know, they're going to feel elated, but they have to say goodbye to someone else. They're going to have to say goodbye and not only say goodbye, but they're going to have to heal. And that's confirmation from the train. And so I'm seeing this 1313 on the clock right now. So that's 44. And so I definitely feel this is somebody that feels your wish fulfillment. This is someone you could have manifested or they could have manifested you. But this is definitely um, coming in divine time. And this is someone who has maintained like hope and optimism, just trusting that the divine would deliver. Bottom of the deck, spirituality. This is a spiritual union, a divine counterpart. This is someone that is preordained to be with you. This is your divine person. And so they have to leave somebody. They have to leave somebody. Maybe the two of you parted ways, like I said. You know, maybe this is an ex. This is a karmic. This is a past life love. This is someone that's having to leave a situation. And they know, you know, they're receiving all the downloads, divine interventions, transmissions, spiritual guidance from their angels, ancestors, and spirit team. That this connection um, that they are in is over. It's, it's ran its course, whereas the connection they have with you, the synergy, the connectivity is more profound because we have tender Roni. So they feel that you are someone more tender, loving and caring, kind, compassionate, empathic, you know, and they feel spiritually, you know, attracted to you. They feel this connection is strong. So what is the uh, outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Dang. So these cards flew out, and I feel like these are more expounds because they kind of slipped out of my hands. But we have financial discipline, surrender. This card just flew up. Surrender, 
compassion parenting so this is perhaps someone who's you know because this says domestic harmony so maybe this is someone who is having to walk away from a family situation maybe they have children with someone maybe this is someone that you have children with or someone that you will be co-parenting with you know maybe this is somebody that will become the step parent to your children this is the number 63 so that's nine so maybe the two of you um, because I, the nine is the highest number of change so maybe this is someone that does want to heal a circumstance and maybe with the communication as I said you know there could be some healing brought to um, even if it's just coded co-parenting with someone there could be a resolve, you know, there could be a way to, to meet in the middle, you know, and through compassion. So that's nine, nine, this is nine. So it's like be more compassionate, non-judgmental. You know, this is when you're operating and functioning from your higher self. This is all purple. So this is about, you know, using discernment, trusting your intuition, your inner gumption, and not wavering. Maybe you're finding out someone is pregnant, pregnant. Or maybe there's something um, being birthed. There's a relationship that's being birthed. And maybe through communicating, you know, there could be some sort of um, a, a deeper, more profound understanding. The divine is telling you to surrender. So this is someone that, you know, I feel like, you know, it's possible that you have children with. Or this could just be saying that, you know, you and someone else is fostering a relationship, you know, together. And it's going to require a lot of compassion, which is not judging the other person or yourself in the process, but just simply surrendering, you know, because there is a strong attraction. I feel like this is a connection that could evolve into, um, you know, a marriage, a, a, a more um, committed connection, someone that you can invest in. Because, again, this number 91, you know, that reduces to 10. But as I always say, every ending denotes a new beginning. This domestic harmony and this 91 is, you know, both 10. So I feel like the divine is saying, you know, that through someone walking away from another situation and just simply surrendering by not trying to control the narrative and control the outcome, it could lead to this happy ever after. And I do feel like with financial discipline, maybe someone is, you know, trying to get their finances together so that they can walk away, so that they can regain or recapture their independence, stability, self-sufficiency. So it's almost as if somebody is learning something. We have physical activity. So someone will make, um, you know, uh, will come towards you. They will take action. So these are your messages. We have 88 abundance. So this is being rewarded. You know, you're being rewarded with an abundance of what I see here is love, an abundance of, you know, emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment, contentment, joy. This is something I felt you were manifesting. So I feel, you know, you co-created with Source to bring this in. I feel like intuitively you know this. You know, I feel like there's an abundance of beautiful energy coming in overall because this is pink so these are things that are going to uh, make you very happy that's why you have happy ending so this is something that's going to really like satisfy you and so we have right now um nas no this is cannabis featuring cambada So what I'm seeing here, and this is leadership on the bottom of the disc. So yeah, so you've taken control. You've taken control of your life. Um, you're more in the spotlight, perhaps. Maybe you're utilizing your throat chakra. I feel like you're being creative. It's like you're tapping into your creativity because you've learned the divinity of the divine feminine and masculine is creating. So I feel like you've been you know, utilizing a lot of time creating. And I feel like whatever you've been creating is going to uh, generate a lot of abundance for you a lot of financial abundance there's a lot of attraction because you're very powerful you're seen as very powerful very informed very spiritual you know um, you have a very healing nature about you um, you're very sensual very sexual very attractive and you're also you know just very 
um, creative and artistic. You know, some some folks see you as um, very strong, very strong-willed. You know, um, you know, you you you're very empowering, is what I'm getting. And we have parenting on the bottom of the deck. So I feel strongly someone that you are either co-parenting with or someone that will become, you know, like the mother or father to your children or child is, you know, entering your life. Like this person is making a grand entrance. Bottom of the um, moonology is it's time to release negativity. So that was what I was picking up with someone who is, you know, in a relationship where there is a lot of domestic abuse, you know, whether mental, emotional, verbal, you know, just physical, whatever it is. And it says your commitment is being tested. So that's exactly what the divine will do. You know, the divine is going to, um, you know, give you many tests, red flags, things that you should be, you know, should cause alarm. And when you ignore those things because you're just simply trying to go along to get along you're not being your authentic self i feel someone struggles with communication i feel like they've been trapped you know in a relationship afraid to be out on their own afraid to be alone so someone is learning you know to be independent of someone that they are codependent on this is stronger than i'm feeling and this is why there's been delays uh, you know, with you getting with this person because they are having to learn this lesson pertaining codependency um, separate of you because I feel like that was one of the lessons you had to learn in addition to self-love, you know. So let's see what this happy ending is. Let's see what you guys got coming and going out going on. Again, this is Moonology. Bottom of the deck. And we have commit communication is key. And what did I say? There needed to be some communication. With communication, because there's a lot of communication telepathically, intuitively, you know, in the 5D via the dreams, lucid dreaming, people visiting you in your dreams. So communication is key. So someone needs to get out of their head, like I said, and they need to take action, come towards you and express how they feel. This is a twin flame because we have dual energy on here. This is Gemini. So I do feel like this is someone that you have a very strong connection with as I was picking up initially and this is someone you've been manifesting this is someone that's a very communicative but for whatever reason um, there's no communication so maybe you've set boundaries you've blocked this person or you feel very guarded or this person feels like you're guarding yourself from them and so maybe that's why there's communication telepathically intuitively and this is someone that definitely has to muster up the strength and courage maybe in the past you all have history something didn't you know, didn't pan out the way that you expected. So maybe somebody's ego is a little, it was a little inflated, or maybe they were being very egotistical. You know, maybe they're being stubborn, not wanting to come towards you because of, because of stubbornness. Uh, but it says be bold and make the first move. So this is what I feel this person has to do, especially with 55, because they were the one that ended this. Maybe they took some sort of uncalculated risk with another person seeking adventure, seeking excitement, and um, it, it, it landed them in a pickle. You know, they, they got caught up in a situation that became very toxic, very uh, codependent. And we have, um, we still have cannabis. So maybe this person chiefs a lot of um, green. Cannabis is another word for marijuana, marijuana. So maybe this person is, you know, like I said, um, Maybe they was under the influence or they was struggling with some sort of addictions, some sort of afflictions, whether that be, you know, like I said, maybe they have um, a strong herb addiction. You know, they may chief a lot of herb, but they are trying to get out of their head to make this first move because it says be bold. So this is something this person struggles with is, is being assertive. I was feeling like they needed to muster up the strength, the courage, the wise dome to communicate. And this is exactly what's coming out in the narrative. So this person needs to be more bold. And I feel like, you know, when they're, when they're chief and herb, they feel more confident. So don't be surprised if this person reaches out, you know, under the influence, like if they are 
a little high, a little zooted, you'd be like, dang, you sound like you're floating right now. And they'd be like, actually, I am. But with this 55, I do feel like they're nearing um, departure of that stagnation. Like they're going to depart the stagnant, you know, energy and they're going to take flight. Um, what is the name of this song so I can see? Yeah, Cambada and um, Cannabis is all it says. So, but yeah, so the, the message I was picking up definitely was, um, you know, somebody may smoke chief a lot of herb and maybe, you know, they'll be a little under the influence when they come out. They know they need to be bold. Maybe these are the thoughts, you know, maybe they get a little paranoid. Maybe they're a little intimidated because they see you as this leader. So we got a bunch of messages. Do I take all of these? Okay, so I, has, I heard yes. So it says the energy is gaining momentum. So they're nearing, like I said, they're nearing the point where they know they're going to take action. Um, with these three little birds, and remember I was picking up on the herb, and Barb Marley sings the song, Three Little Birds, the song Cannabis was just playing. So definitely this is someone who feels a little shameful. This is why they're hesitant to come towards you because they cause a lot of rift, a lot of emotional turmoil. This is a pink card. So this person definitely um, caused a lot of turmoil in your life. And I feel like they received karma. You know, they received some sort of karma. The things they did to you, they are now um, experiencing or suffering. Um, and this is why it's called causing um, a need to heal. Uh, but I feel like this communication coming. They're going to eventually express themselves. That's why there's a lot of communication telepathically and empathically because it's almost like they're just trying to um, make sure the, the 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 smooth smooth runnings. You know, like it's going to be smooth when they do come in. Like the land will be um, smoother. You know, but they've had grand epiphanies. Like they've seen some. You know, some some. Um, They've had some clarity in this situation, in the circumstance. Right now we have Tyrese, um, and he's singing shame. So someone does feel a lot of shame. You know, they feel a lot of shame because they know that you made them feel good. I feel like you also have the ability to heal this person because of your loving um, and tender loving care um, that you give the people you care for. You know, as uh, Scorpios, you're very empathic, very loving, very nurturing. Um, and you're very protective of the people, um, you know, around you. And so they feel this, you know, they're, they're drawn, I feel, because the 66 reduces to uh, 12. That's three. So I do feel like, you know, there's like this longing. They've been kind of waiting um, to be in your presence, to have this conversation. Maybe they feel like when they communicate with you, things make sense, you know, but they are trying to muster up the strength to come towards you. And we have it's time to release negativity that flew back out. And this is healing. See that? So they're healing from a very negative, toxic connection. And I feel like because this breaks down to three, this 12, I feel like they had heartbreak. You know, they've struggled um, in a relationship where they may have been deceived or betrayed, cheated on, lied to, gaslighted, whatever the case. This three is definitely telling me that they are healing from heartbreak. They're healing from disappointment. And it's time for them to release that negative energy. And this is scorpionic energy. So I do feel like, you know, this person is is really um, looking to you, you know, almost like that beacon of light. Because I feel there's a mirroring, always mirroring with a twin flame or, you know, a spiritual union or a kindred soul. It's like you will mirror that person. And there's a lot of, um, you know, double numbers, 55, 66. Remember, 77, spirituality came out. We have 88. So I do feel like there's a sense of, you know, manifesting as well. You're manifesting this person. And so we have here, look at this, a win-win outcome is in the forecast. So this is a part of uh, your good karma. Things are turning around in your favor. Things are balancing out, and it's in regards to love. Every great ending denotes a new beginning, you know, so someone definitely suffered pain and loss. I feel, as I said, this is a part of both of you 
um, and your person's, um, this was a part of your journey. This was destined. This is a connection that was preordained. And because this scale is here, I feel like it was all a matter of divine timing. And it's also, you know, with so good playing by Davina, I feel like things are going to improve tremendously. And this is win-win, so there's like, and you also have happy endings. So it's like only good can come from this situation. Only good can um, evolve from this. I see this as a beautiful spiritual union. And it's 30-30 on the clock, so that reduces to six. This is a six universal year. Six is also the number of the lovers in traditional tarot. Six is also the first star chakra. So I do feel like, as I said, a lot of telepathic and intuitive messages. And I feel like this is how somebody is breaking free from a karmic. This is how they're cutting free, um, you know, the soul ties from a karmic relationship, from a toxic relationship is because you could be communicating with this person and helping them or vice versa. But this does lead to domestic harmony. This is a win-win circumstance. And this is, says um, you are good enough. So you are good enough to have this abundance. It's almost like you all have broken free from some sort of scarcity mindset or some sort of lack mindset, or maybe this is your person, you know, because someone definitely didn't see another person's worth and value. And I feel like this was also like almost like a blow to someone's ego um, when they realized that someone chose another person over them or when somebody abandoned them for another relationship. So that really played on someone's self-esteem. It played on their confidence. It played even on their... Um, you know, on the, the emotional elevator, you know, their emotional elevator did not go far. It was very low. So a lot of people were depressed, you know, suffered from depression. But I feel now there's an abundance of love and it's because someone has had to learn the love of self. Love, you know, loving yourself is the greatest love. Walking away from someone also that does not love you, honor you, treat you the way you're supposed to be treated is also, um, it warrants reward. That's why the divine is, is blessing you with this. This is coming from straight from the divine because someone has released something that was negative, something that was not serving their highest good. And now there's balance because someone was throwing them off balance, out of kilt, if you will. And so now there's harmony. Now this divine masculine, divine feminine can come into union as necessary, as they're supposed to be. And someone's realizing how great someone is, how beautiful. A new start is coming, leadership. So you've taken on this role as a leader. And by you taking on this role as a leader, it has propelled the universe to bring new opportunities, new love, new circumstances to you, new finances, just new beginnings overall. And this is a joyful time, a joyous time. This is a time to be very opened, you know, very... Um, receptive because the divine is showering you with an abundance of this. And I also feel like, you know, you are having this new beginning, um, in a position of power, taking on, um, you know, the role of that leader being more strong. And so we have, um, D'Angelo in the Vanguard. This is called betray my heart. So yeah, after someone betrayed someone's heart, they're having a new start. They're now being that leader. You know, they're now taking uh, control, taking the reins of their life and going in the direction they want to go because they found the balance within themselves, which is why they were being reminded that everything is working out fairly and justly here with a win-win outcast. Uh, outcome is in the forecast. And so we have emotions are running high and then we have conclusions are within reach. So this is causing a lot of, um, you know, someone is really, you know, struggling with making this decision, but I feel like they're drawing closer to making this decision because they can't lie to themselves anymore about what they need. You know, they can't lie anymore about what's necessary. So there is a lot of emotions uh, maybe because with that parenting card, maybe this is someone who has children or maybe they've raised someone children as their own. And so it's hard to just walk away because they're not just walking away from that person. They're walking away from the children. They're walking away from, you know, just the investment overall, you know, planting seeds and roots. It's always hard to just kind of pick up and start all over again. 
you know so it's like this person's emotions are running high but there's a conclusion there's a conclusion of this situation and a dissolution I'm hearing and they're gonna take action you know they, they know that it's time for them to be true to themselves to be their authentic selves to trust what they're feeling intuitively what they know is necessary and they're gonna take action I feel like there's also a lot of abundance coming in because of the action that you all have taken you know this is like the divine is you know assuring you that there's going to be you know abundance of not only like i said emotional fulfillment but financial fulfillment that there's going to be bliss in this relationship domestic harmony a happy ending it entails not just emotional fulfillment but also financial and with this abundance of prosperity there's a lot opening up to you and you have to be receptive so that you can receive it all don't be closed off clammed up because you can miss it, you know. And so we have guiding children. So there's been a lot of healing of inner child wounds. A lot of trauma from your childhood. Perhaps going through abandonment issues. Some of you all weren't raised by your mothers and your fathers. You may have been raised by grandparents, aunts, uncles. And so you may have struggled with abandonment all your lives. And you're healing that portion, that part of yourselves. So we got your messages. They all flipped over. And um, Spirit said, take them, take them, take them. Bodies of water. So it's very healing to go by bodies of water at this time. Maybe go visit the beach. I know it's cooler now, colder now. Um, but even if you just go with a sweater or a hoodie and just go sit by the body of water because I feel like there's a lot of messages, a lot of downloads, and I feel like you'll feel revitalized, rejuvenated, and also recharged. And it's also a way for you to release, release what no longer serves you. It's also a way to heal, you know. Heal the pain. Heal the pain from the past. Because with betray my heart, someone betrayed your heart. So some of you all may still be holding on to residual pain, residual hurt, because you still have this healing card. So this is how they feel about you, is that you're still healing. You know? So let's see what we got. So we have... Be strong, segment, and it says happy ending. Communication is key. So someone will muster up the strength to um, come towards you, you know, to express their feelings. There will be a happy ending also. The divine is assuring, you know, somebody's, you know, a little intimidated by your strength because you are very confident right now. You're very intuitive as well. You're also very spiritual. They see you as someone who's a uh, like a healer, a shaman, a light worker, or some sort of spiritual practitioner. And I feel like a lot of you have you know discovered how strong you are. But someone is going to lean in their strength. They're going to lean on their strength to come towards you. They do feel this undying love towards you. So as I was picking up, there's a synergy, chemistry that is undeniable. And it says the energy is gaining momentum. So it's almost like their feelings for you, Scorpio, is intensifying. And they want to take risk. They want to take action. You know, they want to take this leap of faith, I should say. You know, they're willing to risk whatever it is they have to come towards you. They want a new adventure. They want to be spontaneous. They want to end this connection they're in to come towards you. Because they truly feel like you're their divine feminine their divine masculine we have the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the separation and the separation is that this person is involved in another situation so they're in a karmic or in some sort of um some other um connection with another person but they still feel this undying love for you we got dmx and this is called hood blues so they definitely have a lot of sadness being in separation which is why they may live in their mind a lot, you know, just imagining, you know, imagining um, being with you, imagining old times they were with you, old conversations. They just see this connection overall is one that's just, you know, very abundant, very beautiful. You know, they feel like they would be a happy spouse with you and that the two of you would have a happy house. You know, they feel like there would be more, there was more spontaneity, spontaneity, you know, and it's like they felt a lot of, um, a lot of emotion for you that they may not have ever expressed, you know, and so with Cordelia, we have go outside, 
So someone has been like kind of trapped, maybe suffering from depression, but it says it's time to release negativity. Maybe someone is resorting to chiefing a lot of cannabis, a lot of herb, a lot of gas, a lot of exotics, you know, and they're needing to go outside to, to, you know, just get some fresh air, fresh perspective, receive some downloads, you know what I'm saying? And, and this will allow them to naturally release the negativity. That's also why, you know, bodies of water, because maybe they need to go sit by a body of water to just release this toxicity. This connection is divinely protected, spiritually protected, even if there are attacks. It's like there is a spiritual um, guide, a guardian, an ancestor, an angel, an ascended master that watches over you and your person, over this union. As I said, I feel like, you know, especially with that spirituality card that showed up, I feel like this is a spiritual um, partnership. This is one the divine has conspired behind the scenes, which is why there is balance being restored. Which is why the scale will, you know, be balanced. We have fertility. You are the divine feminine, divine masculine in this person's eyes. That's why there's a win-win um, outcome here. Because this person does see that with you, there is love. With you, there is happiness. There's joy. They see you as someone that's very, very, very powerful. A master manifester, very psychic, very loving, very beautiful, very nurturing, caring, and you're also very attractive. You know how to birth new ideas, give birth to new conditions, new projects. You could be very abundant right now in your business. You may run a business. You may also have children, and you also have this ability to create. You're a creative mind. So you are a creative. This person can see you as the mother to their children. Some of you all may become pregnant. And as I said, if it's not like an actual birth you're giving to like a child, you're just giving birth to new ideas. You know, this relationship will also, um, it's in the incubation status. I feel like this relationship is, you know, already, it is already, uh, manifested in the 5D, which is why there's a lot of, you know, mental communication, intuitive, telepathic, astral, lucid dreaming, like, but this is going to lead to domestic harmony because this person feels like you're very domestic, you're very caring, you're very loving, nurturing, you're also, they see your worth, they see your value, you're abundant. It's like they see you as someone who makes things happen. You also balance them out. They see you as very grounded, balanced, and in alignment. And the name of the song that's playing is This Is It by Camp Low. So they see like with you, this is it. They don't need to search anymore, any further, because with you, you're the you're the you fit the mold. You tick all their boxes. And this is it. This is also, you know, like I said, this is um you know, the scale. So this is like, they could see, you know, marrying you. They could see marriage. They could see this connection leading to marriage, leading to long-term commitment. They could see you being their wife, their husband, their partner. It's like you speak their love language and you match their fly, you know? And we have nem nematona, sacred space. And it says you are good enough in abundance. This is what this is clearing or clarifying. And the beautiful thing about this is, you know, with the sacred space, this is about you setting the intention. You know, spending time by your divine altars. You know, those sacred spaces would be like your altar, would be that body of water, would be that favorite tree or that trail. And you're connecting to source. Some of you all did candle magic. Some of you all sent offerings to your ancestors your spirit team through candle magic but just that time you devoted in front of your altars in front of your sacred space even just you know creating this taught you self-love this taught you to put you first to prioritize your needs this also is the reason why the divine is blessing you with this abundance because you've learned to co-create you built your spiritual strength you've learned how to manif master manifest and she's wearing like a hood, you know, this garb always denotes like a wizard, you know, a magi, a magician, a witch, 
So it's like you've built your spiritual uh, strength. And you've connected to this divine place, which has given you the power. And it's also taught you to love that self. We have golden opportunities opening up. Mama Yemenya. Like I said, a new start is coming. Golden opportunities. So these doors are opening up because of the hard work, the effort, because of the devoted, you know, the devotion you put into your craft, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, honing those skills, building your wealth of knowledge. And now this positive change is taking place because, like I said, you have put the effort into mastering yourself. This is about self-mastery. Now you're a leader. And leaders are those that can rule. They can, you know, um, not even rule. That's the wrong word. Leaders lead. Leaders lead other leaders. Like they can lead others to become great leaders, you know, because it's really an energy. You know, you're, you're showing others that they too can do this, you know, that they too are powerful. So it's a very empowering and inspiring position to be in. And I feel like that's why things are opening up because it's like, it's a magnet, this law of attraction. What you put out into the universe, you're going to get back. And when you believe in your ability to, to lead and to change your circumstance, then opportunities will present themselves. And bam, you got prosperity. So prosperity is, it came right back out. And so you have abundance here, abundance. And then you have prosperity, fertility, and golden opportunities are here. And these opportunities are presenting themselves because of your hard work and effort. You've transformed. You've experienced a lot of trauma, a lot of pain. But you have healed that inner child, which is why you're now being blissed with these rewards, which is why you're being recognized as a leader. So it's, it, it was all about the application of knowledge. And so we have DMX skyscrapers. So now it's like you're at the top of the world, rising power DMX. So it's like you're at the top of the world right now. You're literally, you know, feeling like you're on cloud nine. Things are really looking up. And it's because your hard work and effort is paying off with butterfly maiden transformation. This is what you all have done. Emotions are running high. You know, we're about to clarify those cards as well. Um, but this is your transformation. You've experienced enormous change. And that's bringing a lot of prosperity, a lot of blessings, a lot of opportunities, a lot of love. You're attracting more now. And the divine is saying in this new chapter, you have to start delegating. Don't try to handle everything on your own. You know, this is not about self-sabotaging and overcompensating in this in this um, new chapter. This is about being your authentic self. Because remember, you realized and learned in this process that you are good enough. So when you are good enough and when you have love of self, then you are very mindful at how you teach people how to treat you because you know that you're naturally very sensitive and you know that you require, um, you know, reciprocity, you know? And so that's why the divine is telling you, um, reminding you, this is like that little reminder, you know, to delegate. Don't try to do everything on your own. And if someone tries to put all the responsibility off on you, that's a red flag, but you need to ask others, you know, for their insistence, opposed to trying to do it all by yourself. You could even call upon Green Tara for that assistance if you need it. And we have bright future. I feel like you have some beautiful, beautiful days ahead. As the card said here, happy ending. So even if you went through something very traumatic, very toxic, very painful, I feel like there's things beautifully blossoming for you behind the scenes. And it's because of you putting in that work. You remain very just, very righteous in your acts. And I feel like that's why you're being rewarded because the divine, you know, like we always say, Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. And as long as you stay on the right side of karma, I feel like good things will come to you. You will manifest beautiful opportunities. And that's what's happening. Mother Ma'at Wu, this reminds me of like the Queen of Pentacles. So this is you being grounded, balanced, and in alignment. And with emotions are running high, I feel like this is why, you know, someone is, you know, finding it necessary to just kind of ground themselves, heal themselves, you know, just restore themselves. 
and it's 4949. So that's um what is that 1313? 13, 13. Wait, what is that? Yeah, 1313. 13, so that's 44. Four. So yeah, you know, your angels and ancestors are, you know, kind of like making um making space for the new, you know. Your emotions are running high, so it's like they're telling you and reminding you to just kind of like ground yourself, you know, to, to get back to the self because you're, you're outside of yourself right now. So it's time to ground yourself, you know. You are being called. I feel like you absolutely are also helping someone to heal because I see this as like she's like, um, you know, she's holding like this glow. So it's like she's restoring, you know, some of the peace. You know, it's like she's controlling that energy. So maybe you're helping someone with their emotions or through their emotions. You're helping them to heal because you are a healer. You know, that that Mother Earth energy is very healing, just like the water. You know, the water and Earth are both opposite of one another. Um, you know, Taurus is opposite of Scorpio. But I feel like it's definitely when they're uh, both in alignment, it, it, it means that there's harmony, there's balance. That could be restored. And so we have Nas. Um, Nas is good. So yeah, things can be good. See that? Endings and beginnings. I can't make this up. And it says conclusions are within reach. So this ending is within reach. It's about to take place. I feel like you and your person have been met, um, definitely mirroring one another. And someone is coming to the realization. That's why you are helping them realize, like, look. You know, in order for the new to come in, you have to release the old because maybe somebody's still holding on to someone um, emotionally, you know, and this is about letting go and then just, you know, kind of like just pro trusting the process, you know, trusting the process, trusting that something better can come and not just holding on or trying to control the narrative or trying to just, you know, control the circumstance. So we have flighty, in and out, impulsive, unreliable, and basic instruction before leaving Earth seeking higher knowledge here on the split. This is the deck I created. And so that's what someone was doing in the past. They were very impulsive, very flighty, you know, keeping you on an emotional roller coaster ride. And I feel like you kind of walk away. Maybe somebody's going through that now where they're dealing with a very childish energy, but they're receiving those downloads. Like I said, the two of you communicate telepathically, intuitively, that it's time to end that connection. They're also seeking divine knowledge, so they could also be like studying, um, reading, you know, reading um, their Bibles or just reading books in general on love, on relationships, on social connections uh, with karma dharma. Remember, I told you. Good things are, you know, working out in your favor because of the seeds you've planted. You sowed in good faith, so now positive things are happening for you. And I feel like you're receiving messages, you know, telepathically, intuitively. There's a family dynamic here. This is someone that you will build a nucleus, a family with, commit to. With this trinity, this represents man, woman, and child. This round portion represents the woman's the feline, uh, the feline, the female's womb. These parts represent the fallopian tubes, which represents the children. And this portion here represents the phallus, which represents the masculine energy. So this is about, you know, a family unity, connection, legacy, building with someone. And I feel like this also is saying that this is a part of your karma. This is a part of your destiny. Maybe it involved, you know, a husband with whom betrayed your trust, played games, lied, and now they're having this epiphany. See this love and happiness? You have some happy um, times ahead of you, Scorpios, especially with bright future. And the divine was reminding you not to worry. This is Lakshmi's card. She said, stop worrying. Everything is working out beautifully. So it's like, as I said, when you release that need to control, remember surrender came out when it just fell out and I was like, I have to expound on these cards. And then we saw completion. So it's like somebody's wrapping up a cycle. And when they complete that cycle, when they release that person entirely, then they could come towards you and you all will have this very beautiful spiritual reading. So let's go ahead and just cut the deck. I don't want this reading to be too um, long for you guys this time around. And so we have sacred space, 
offerings honor your ancestors guide spirit team so this is exactly what you all did remember sacred space it did um come out um right here so this is literally like you know mirroring you know you and your person are mirroring one another i feel this person is communicating with spirit i feel like they are uh, asking their spirit team, their angels, their guides, their ancestors for answers on how to approach you, on how to come toward you, on what to do. Because they know that in the past they played a lot of games, they toyed with your emotions, and they were very manipulative and very childish. So now they're trying to muster up the strength, courage, and wisdom to come toward you. And so they can be seeking, you know, divine guidance. They could be seeking some sort of... Um, you know, just trying to connect with the divine, you know, trying to get the answers that they need because this person knows they were being very flighty. They know that they were showing mixed signals, but deep down it's like they truly do care for you with undying love and that adventure. And then we have, um, the energy is gaining momentum. So it's like their feelings are intensifying. They tried to run from it, hide from it, deny it only to realize that they do have this undying love, only to realize they want to take this leap of faith. And then we have um, ever wanting to want you. And this is by Maxwell. So they are ever wanting to want you. So they do want you. They do desire you. Their feelings are intensifying. They are feeling this connection. They are definitely um, trying to figure out a way to come toward you. How to, to manifest this connection. They hold on to you. And they, can, they dream about you um, regularly. I feel like they constantly have thoughts of you running across their mind. You know, but they know that they were very um, egotistical in the past. Playing games. Very proud. You know. So why is adventure and um, the energy is intensifying and... Undying love here for our beloved Scorpio, divine spirit of love and light. Divine spirit of love and light. Thank you so much. So two cards. See that? I can't make this shit up. Don't play with me. You radiate love and light. Love and light shine bright. So it's your shine. It's your glow. It's your love that you give them. And what I just said that. Child's play. Immaturity. They realized they was playing a lot of games. They realized that they was playing a lot of games and you wasn't having it. And now they can see clearly the role they played because they're reflecting now. Now they're reflecting and they're understanding or understanding more. You know what I'm saying? That they need to communicate to just, you know, to rectify uh, the situation because of their childish antics with the, you know, mixed signals and flighty and all of that. Nobody got time for that. And I feel like a lot of you... Um, you know, just kind of walked away from this connection. And with adventure, you sought, you know, you sought uh, adventure elsewhere. But they know that their their games, it caught up to them. But now they're also realizing that they have this undying love, that they have this attraction towards you, this feeling towards you, that they cannot deny. It's like they've had this epiphany. And they realize even more now that they want to take this leap of faith, come towards you. They want to see where things will go because they're ever wanting to want you which means they've never stopped wanting you. This is undying love. When something's undying, it's like you cannot you cannot um you cannot deny you know how somebody feels. You no, know, they can't deny. It. They was self-deceiving and um self-sabotaging for a while, but they cannot deny the love they feel. You know, the attraction. They see you as wish fulfillment also. You know, you radiate love and light, shine bright. So you may be having some sort of success. You know, they may be watching you via World Wide Web, social media. You know what I'm saying? But this person is definitely also, you know, realizing that they've sabotaged this connection with their child's play. Being immature. You know, being immature. And so I see promotion pay increase here. Some of you all are going to get like a bump in your, um, in your salary. I feel like some of you all will get a very nice um, tax return. Some of you all are going to receive unexpected money, just, you know, some sort of uh, approval of a loan, whatever it is. There's like promotion pay increases, even a business deal, because you do have fertility, which is the divine feminine, which is the empress energy along with leadership and then abundantia twice and 
golden doors up, opening up bright futures. So I feel like if you do run a business, your business is going to flourish. It's going to really um, be successful. And you're going to have some really um, lucrative business deals that you'll be making. And so we have for the love of money. And it says money, moolah, dough, cheddar, cheese, biscuits. And it says greed. So someone was definitely dealing with a relationship that was more, it feels codependent. Somebody was in a connection for the security, the stability, maybe for a roof over their house. Maybe they needed somebody to help them pay the bills, pay the rent. This situation turned very toxic. And I feel like they also were like almost being controlled, manipulated, couldn't do anything. They was just kind of holed up in the house, held up in the house. And they're being told to go outside because they'll be able to have some sort of clarity. They'll be, be able to receive some sort of divine downloads. You know, she has a crescent moon on her first side. So it's like somebody needs to use discernment. Somebody needs to use their intuition so that they can begin this healing process because there's no longer any harmony. Someone has broken their heart, broken their trust, and was just using them for money. Maybe somebody found out that somebody was just with them for money, just with them for what they can do for them. And we have um, Faith Evans, you used to love me. So yeah, maybe this connection, you know, it, it, someone ran out of love. Because with the 66 reducing the 12, which is 3, I feel like it was a heartbreak. You know, they went through a, a, enormous pain, loss. And it, it, it turned very toxic because it says it's time to release negativity. So somebody has to release this very negative um, connection. You know, somebody who could be very... Um, very manipulative, very narcissistic, very controlling, you know, um, just somebody using them, using them for their money, obviously. And I feel like you're going to meet somebody and this person you meet is going to feel like somebody you knew all your life. They're going to be like, damn, where have you been all my life? Maybe you'll meet someone at your place of employment or maybe you met this person at your place of employment years ago and y'all always had a connection, a synergy, chemistry. You always felt like that was the one that got away or vice versa. And so we have standing firmly on your square, grounded, balanced. So this person definitely feels like you ground them, which is what I was picking up here. And um, it says you used to love me. So this is someone you know, someone you're familiar with. And this person realizes that you're, you, you know, you're very content, very happy. You know, and your happiness is almost like it's... Um, it's almost like um, I, I'm trying to find the word and I can't um, but it's like your happiness is triggering them you know and it says you can't steal my joy so they see you as very stable very happy you know standing firmly on your square is like you're not budging you're not allowing anyone to control you, your happiness, your joy ever again. It's like you've taken complete control over your happiness, over your peace of mind. It's like you're not allowing anybody to manipulate your energy because you're in your power and you know your worth and value. And this is why there's a win-win outcome coming out. Because it's like when you stand firmly on your square and you stand perpendicular in that square then you will be in harmony, in balance. This person sees you as being able to do that. Like I said, you're mirroring one another. So they see you being happy, having a happy outcome. So they feel like they too can have this happy outcome. And if they get with you, the two of you can have this domestic harmony. Because maybe they feel, like I said, that you match their fly, that you speak their love language. But there is strong attraction. They feel you're beautiful in every fashion of the word. You're not just physically attractive, but they are attracted to your mind. They are attracted to the power. They're attracted to your ability to manifest, your creativity. They're attracted to the way that you are naturally empathic, compassionate, empathic. Uh, I mean, um, um, naturally um, grounded balanced you're like spiritually aligned like they see you as someone that could um that could help them to heal and we have bloodstone it says who has the last laugh now so yeah you know i feel like you know whoever whoever broke your heart scorpios i feel like because you're happy it's like you're getting the last laugh and for your person, whoever broke their heart, they're going to have the last laugh because they're going to be in a very 
um, harmonious love ship. They're breaking free from the negativity and the toxicity and, you know, anyone that was keeping them stuck and stagnant to go towards domestic harmony. When you're in harmony, you're in alignment, you're balanced. There's this synergy that's like yin-yang energy, ebbs and flows. It's like, you know, positive energy. And I feel like, you know, your happiness is like, it's um, electri electrifying, but it's also, it's, um, what is the word I'm looking for? I can't even remember, but when it comes to me, I'll tell you. <laughs> and it's such an easy word, and it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't get it. See this redemption song? So you've redeemed yourself, and you redeemed yourself because you went and spent necessary time in front of your sacred space. You devoted that time to heal. Your higher self, your spirit team was telling you the ways in which you need to do that. And the first step was loving yourself, you know. And in order for you to love yourself, you got to heal yourself from past pain, wounds, and trauma. You know, and you got to get to the root cause of the problem. And that's what you all did. And so now you have this redemption. You know, the divine is redeeming you and redeeming your circumstance. And that's why this abundance is here. This is wish fulfillment, blessings. And this is being showered upon you because you learn to love yourself. Loving yourself is the greatest love. Like I always say, you know, self-love is the best love. But self-love also shows the divine um, you know, that you're putting yourself first. You're no longer in that space where you are not delegating, where you're self-sabotaging, where you're overcompensating, where you're not being, you know, um, where you're not standing up for yourself, being bold. See this? You ain't got to lie, Craig. So somebody definitely was dealing with a lot of deception, dishonesty. People speaking out of both sides of their mouth. You having to heal from that. You know, you having to heal from somebody who lied to you repeatedly about nothing. It was just like the simplest shit they was lying about. So you had to heal from that. And we got, you know, who has the last laugh now? So it's like that's what the redemption is, is that you can, you know, stand with your head erect, you know, and you're being rewarded for that. And it's because you've learned to love yourself. When you love yourself, you can heal yourself. When you heal yourself, then you know yourself. Or when you heal yourself, you can learn to love yourself. And then when you love yourself, you can learn to know who you are. You know that self. And that's always very important, very intricate to growth. You know, and that's exactly what this divine feminine, you know, also, you know, divine masculines, you know, this that's the first step is knowing, is loving that self, you know. This is powerful. So divine spirit, why is leadership here? Um, what is this card? I forgot. Leadership, a new start is is um, beginning, golden opportunity, abundantia, butterflies, green tara. See that? Love and happiness. This is why. This leadership role, somebody is coming in. They're going to take lead. They're going to be more assertive. They're coming at you the same way. They're matching your energy. So this is going to be like that power couple. This is what you have here. You got some beautiful cards. You have a new start is coming. Golden opportunities. Yemenya. Mama Yemenya. Bless up. You have abundance here. Prosperity. You have butterfly maiden. Transformation. You have green Taurus. Starting, uh, start delegating and Lakshmi. Bright future. And this is also leadership here. And then love and happiness. Spiritual union. I cannot make this up. This is a spiritual, a divine connection you are coming into a spiritual union because this card says love and happiness which is why happy ending started out the reading because even Lakshmi was saying you have a bright future ahead of you this is what's coming towards you somebody is leaving some toxic shit somebody is dealing with someone who has been very deceptive this is that energy that negative energy that someone's re healing from they're healing from this and it's going to require a lot of patience. They're going to need your help because we have Mother Wa Mawu, which is like that healer, you know. She's a natural healer, shaman, light worker. She's very grounded. So because you're standing firmly on your square, you can help your person bring them back down. You can help heal them, ground them. Emotions are running high. So somebody's very emotional, very um, temperamental right now. 
and it's because they're dealing with some toxic shit. They got an uh, energy vampire, an incubus, succubus, and they're very weary. They're very much aware of what they're dealing with. So why is that energy? Let's see. Why is emotions are running high? Mother Mawu here for my beloved Scorpios, the God Spirit of Love and Light. See that? And it says the Ankh, the Trinity. So the beautiful thing is that the divine is saying that this is your sacred partner. We already saw a spiritual union. I saw 1111 on the clock when we was talking about this energy. This is your twin flame, the person you're meant to be with. And I feel like the emotions are running high because they're breaking free from a toxic connection to come into this spiritual union. This is a divine counterpart. And I feel like with the Trinity, this is showing that the two of you are birthing a new life together. This is represents life. The onk, the symbol represents life. And so with man, woman, and child, I feel like there could be almost like um, reconciliation if this is someone that you have children with or if this is someone that's going to uh, be the step-parent of your children. It's like this is going to be a sacred union. This person's coming in with the intention to marry, to commit, you know, to invest, to build a legacy. That's powerful. And then we have Judas. So someone has to definitely break free from this Judas. Remember you had the energy of conclusions are within reach and endings and new beginnings. And then Judas is clarifying that. So this person needs to finalize this connection. We got um, J. Bad, and this is called um, Y3 Dom. And this is an African artist. And so, why three? So, yeah. So, I feel like somebody is saying, like, why this third party? Why did you cheat on me? Why did you lie? And somebody was lying. You know, this Judas can't be trusted. This is that snake in the grass. That's why somebody had to use discernment, you know? And they did. But they also have to release this past person. Why three is the name of this song. So, I feel like this person could be asking questions like, you know, why did you cheat on me? Why did you have that, you know, other masculine or that other feminine in the picture why did you you know lie why did you you know what i'm saying and the divine is saying you got to release the old in order for the new to come in in order for the new to enter your life and somebody is secretly plotting planning scheming scamming trying to backstab this is like high alert so there is a lot of um resistance somebody's trying to block this connection trying to delay it trying to sabotage it because I feel like, you know, somebody is really attached to someone who's using them for their finances. Because it only says, it don't say nothing about money. I mean, love. It says, for the love of money, moolah, cheddar cheese, biscuits, and dough. Greed. So somebody's very greedy. Somebody doesn't care about the connection, or, you know, which is why they got third parties in the first place. But they are looking for stability and security. Ten of cups here on the bottom of the deck. So this person wants a happy ending. They want that happily ever after. They want to have happy house, happy spouse. They want somebody that they could call their homie, love, a friend. Somebody that could be their rock, their homie, love, a friend is that person that they could trust and confide in. Somebody that will be communicative, honest, loyal, faithful, trustworthy. And you got the knight of wands. So this is the energy. They was dealing with somebody who could have been real, you know, like non-committal, flighty, in and out. Or this is what you was dealing with in your past that you had to break free from. You know, but this is a relationship, you know, somebody wanting to take risks, take the leap of faith, wanting to come in and give to this connection. You know, this is about, you know, making an offer, but needing to be strong. And we have John B. featuring Tupac. This is called Are You Still Down? So this is someone from your past. They want to know if you're still down. If you're down for the ride, are you still down for this ride? They know they took you on a crazy ride, but they want to know, are you still down? This is the lovers. Remember I was picking up on the number six, the lovers, earlier, and here it is. And there's a scale. Remember that scale? And you got the scale here. Remember it said a win-win outcome. So I do feel like the scale is saying that this love connection, and this is falling under domestic harmony, and a star and fertility and standing firmly on your square. So by you standing firmly on your square, not backing down, walking away from someone that was mistreating you, this is how you definitely took your power back. That's the epitome of self-love makes you more attractive. Someone is drawn to you. Are you still down with them? 
There's, look at this synergy. Look at this chemistry. Look at this connection. Words don't even need to be spoken. This person wants to come in. They want to offer you something real. This person's been praying on this. They've been, you know, writing in their journals. They're sending you those telepathic messages. I can't make this shit up. The Ace of Swords. This person wants to communicate. This person feels this connection, and I feel you all do too. You know exactly who I'm speaking of, Scorpio. And if you don't, maybe this message isn't for you. Like I said, check your moon rising. Check your Venus, your other placements. So we're going to pull some messages from like the Sears. And then we're going to wrap it up. So look at this, two of wands. This person is drawing close to making a decision. They already made a decision, but they're going to come towards you. There's distance here. So this person is distant, and this world denotes that the same energy. They discovered somebody, because the world card in traditional tarot represents, you know, like that ending. You're finalizing, um, you know, the completion of a cycle. You know, something coming full circle, learning from the experiencing uh, the experiences, gaining a new perspective, coming into spiritual alignment. It's like a graduation card, like leveling up. Somebody has definitely made a decision. You know, they realize that something was keeping them stuck, something was blocking them, and they want to go towards, you know, new horizons, new opportunities. They want to come towards you. They recognize that they was dealing with a, a liar. That's why they turn their back completely. And they know that it's time to end this connection, release this situation. But with this sacred space, you know, they've literally been, you know, kind of like meditating, you know, maybe even sun gazing, you know, maybe communicating with the angels and guides, you know, just, just connecting, you know, with the energy and seeking, you know, advice, you know, and they've been receiving a lot of downloads and they're just mustering up the strength, courage to take action, to finally, you know, come towards you. And they just, they're unsure if you're going to be still down for the ride because, you know, like I said, maybe things didn't end, um, you know, very, you know, very positively in the past. So maybe they're fearing rejection, fearing your response. But I do feel like they could see, you know, this new world. They're ready. They're, they've already made their decision to come towards you with this offer. Something real, something tangible. This could be like literally like a marriage proposal. Somebody just literally saying, like, look, I want you to be my wife because we did have the Trinity card and we do have the fertility. So this is someone that you you wife, you wife this empress energy. You know, you 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 uh, make that that man your husband, you know, if this is masculine energy. But this person is ready to take action. This person is ready to communicate this love that has been intensifying and growing out of control. This person is drawn to you. And they're just unsure if you're still down. Because we got John B. featuring Tupac. And with Tupac, I think of twins, you know, because two, you know, dual energy. So this could be like that twin flame, you know. So let's see. Why is adventure here? Let me see. And we got the eight of wands. See, I can't make this up. They're about to come talk to you. Remember I said three little birds, you know, and birds are air energy. So they carry messages they're like messenger spirits. So this person is coming to express to you the, their feelings that they've been hiding. This has caused a lot of trauma, a lot of delay, a lot of, you know, um, emotion, emotional pain for them. Because they've been, like, hiding this. This has been, like, you know, this is why it's so hard for them to communicate. Because it's like they're literally um, having to unlearn certain things they've, they were taught during their developmental years. You know, especially about feelings and emotions. Maybe they're the type of um, masculine energy or feminine energy that grew up in a household where there was very little emotional um, gestures of love. And so they grew up without touch, without physical touch, hugs, kisses, or even being told, I love you. And so maybe this is why they struggle with showing those gestures of love because it was never taught to them during those very critical or vital um, childhood you know, development to years, if you will. And they're realizing just how childish they were being. You know, this is like childish to not express your emotions, show your emotions. And so we have Toby Nguai, and this is called Caged Birds. See this? So this person felt very caged. And when you're, you're caged, when a bird is caged, it's like there's no communication because the birds represent like, you know, angelic messages like you know being able to either give or receive messages 
And this is called cage birds. So this person was very caged mentally. You know, very, they were self-deceived. It was like self-deception, if you will, because they obviously felt this love, this attraction, but they didn't express it. But now, whatever caged birds, they're free now. There's three of them. So this person may, like I said, they chief a lot. Maybe they are constantly smoking and that makes them paranoid. And so they fear the worst. But I see that they're breaking free from that. They're, they're ready to take action. And I do feel like you had them blocked because, you know, the eight of wands is like somebody coming in regardless of the boundaries you've set. You know, you, you've put yourself in a protective bubble. You set up healthy boundaries. Um, but this person is absolutely feeling um, this urgency to communicate, to express themselves, to say how they feel. So caged birds. So yeah, this person definitely was in a relationship, I feel, also that was like, it was really toxic. When you're caged, it's like you don't have the freedom. You can't go and come as you please. It's like you are dealing with somebody very controlling, very narcissistic. And that's why it says go outside. You know, they needed to like step outside of that environment because it was very toxic. It was very negative. And they're healing from that. They're needing to heal. Because it caused a lot of emotional um, trauma. You know, they was dealing with somebody controlling. You got the emperor and the empress here. You know, so this was somebody very dominating, very controlling. My way or the highway. They wanted things done their way. And this is also somebody who's all about the money, the, cho the coins, the stability, just wanting to be in the relationship for how it made them look to the outside world. But they was, they was really suffering. That's why the divine was telling them to surrender. Surrender to the divine is surrendering to the truth and not just going along to get along. This person was definitely not communicating their needs and they suffered. It was a caged bird in this relationship with 66 and it says healing. So it's like there was a lack of communication. This entire card is blue. Blue deals with the throat chakra. So I feel like they were sh hushed. You know, they couldn't communicate. This person was only, you know, using them for money, for finances, security, stability. It was keeping them trapped, didn't want them to go outside. You know, it was like this person felt completely like stagnant, stuck. And it's, this is the energy they was dealing with. I also feel like this person has, you know, manifested, you know, or transformed into this, you know, divine masculine. You know, so that he can match this divine feminine's fly. You know, this is a match, you know. And so this person is definitely, um, they're learning from you. You know, it's like your energy is triggering and activating them. And so they know that they have to play chess, not checkers with this toxic energy. And, you know, they're going to have to make a move. They're going to have to, like I said, they're going to have to take action and go after what they want. And so we have Imagine here, and this is uh, John Legend. So this person's imagining coming towards you. See that? Imagining coming towards you with this Ace of Swords. And they're communicating with you telepathically via your dreams. This is beautiful. See that? Ten of Swords. Your person was definitely backstabbed, betrayed. This is a painful loss, a painful ending. That's why they're having the heal from this. But they're walking away. You know, they see things very clearly. The Ten of Swords reduces to the Ace. So that's like learning, you know, learning from, you know, those past transgressions, from that past relationship. But there's also birds. And the birds are leading this person in the direction of this divine feminine. You know, in the direction of someone that can show them the love, the care, the tenderness. Someone that they can have domestic harmony with. Someone that there is a win-win outcome with, you know, someone that will ground them, heal them because they see you as in your power. They see you as very happy, very joyful. This Ace of Swords, they've learned a lot. And what they've learned more importantly is that they have to cut themselves free from what no longer serves them. You know, they see things clearly for what it is in the past. They may have been under the illusion, under the spell, but they're broken free. And I feel like it's because of the healing, the work you've done, it has triggered and activated your person. They've held on to this dream. They've remained optimistic, hopeful, 
This is like literally sending up prayers, petitions, affirmations. They see you as wish fulfillment. They've been praying and calling you in. That's why the divine is saying a win-win outcome is in the forecast because this is like preordained. This is like destined. You know, this is wish fulfillment. This is a blessing, domestic harmony, asking for that lover, asking for that partner, that life partner, that best friend, that twin flame, that soulmate. That's going to be emotionally intelligent. Some of that is going to be attentive, affectionate, honest, communicative, bring love, peace, happiness, joy into your life. Someone that's going to be your, you know, your partner, be there to protect you, provide for you. This is what that energy is. And someone is finally realizing that's what you bring to the table. This is infinite supply, holding on to hope. And remember, we have imagined and so this person has been imagining, visualizing, dreaming, like I said, visiting you in the dream world, communicating with you telepathically, intuitively. This is also you co-creating as this divine feminine. You're co-creating with source and telling source what you desire, what you want. You know, this is like co-creating and manifesting that divine counterpart. So why is domestic harmony a win-win outcome, fertility, and standing. Okay, this one is like, all right, I'll take that and I'm going to get another one because it didn't quite fall. See that? Okay, so all these that fell, they all on the, um, they all face down. So I'm not taking these. I'm only going to take the ones that's in the upright and I'm taking this one and I'm taking that one because that one fell out. All right. And so we do got some interesting messages here, to be honest with you. Very interesting. Everything I just said, literally. So they're telling me to expound just so you could see. So we have the King of Wands. So there was definitely um, someone very passionate coming towards you. You know, this is somebody who has a lot of fire, a lot of desire. And remember, I was picking up on their feelings intensifying. So this is someone who is a leader, someone who could be very proud, very egotistical as I was picking up. And maybe their pride and ego is what led, you know, to the death, the demise of this relationship. But you've transformed, you know, and this new version of yourself, you have uh, taken on this energy of the divine feminine. And this is what's causing attraction. This is like drawing someone in. And I feel like your strength, you know, that you're exhibiting, it's like it's matching um, the vibration, you know, that they're on. You know, because remember it said, um, it said, um, what did it say? I can't remember, but it was just like, there was a card and it was just talking about how, um, you know, happy you are, you know, you're very blissed right now. You're happy. And it's because you are focusing on your business, you know, your, your career, your, 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 um, your goals, your endeavors, um, you're mastering your crafts. This is about you turning your back to the nonsense and, and kind of like tapping in to your creativity. And there you find joy. You find happiness. You know, the sweetest joy is to need nothing at all, you know, but to have it, you know. And so this is like you completely being showered with blessings, wish off, wish fulfillments, opportunities. This is that bright future, um, you know, the divine telling you that there's no need to worry. I feel like there's also some grand epiphany. Um, a lot of the seeds you've planted, your hard work has paid off. Um, I'm actually doing the cards out of order, but you'll see, you know, it's like your hard work has paid off because now there's wish fulfillment. Someone's wanting to reconcile, rejuvenate this connection. This is the judgment. You know, they're wanting to, you know, resuscitate it, if you will, because they've seen how you've transformed, like a new version of you has emerged, like, and they're attracted and drawn to that. And they're wanting to work together. They're wanting to collaborate. They're wanting to invest. You know, maybe if they got caught up in a third party, they're wanting to put that behind you all. You know, they're wanting to, um, you know, see if they could heal this. And so we have um, making love in the rain. So, yeah, this person, I don't know. They, they like I said, they visualize, they dream of you a lot. So maybe they have dreams of being intimate with you in the rain. So let's see what these messages are. So we got the six of swords. So there goes the water reference. I was picking up rain. So you moved away. Yeah, this, this, this definite distance. They know they're going to have to travel to see you. They're going to have to communicate a message. There's three birds here. And then there's three birds, um, pulling this feminine energy in this boat, this boat. So it's like your, your higher self, your spirit team, 
um, moved you up to a place where you have like a safe, a safe haven. You've created like a sanctuary. There's peace, there's tranquility. You're out of, you know, some sort of toxicity. Um, whereas another person may have gone in a different direction. You know, there's three birds. Remember the same three birds are like flying here. So it's almost like somebody is now free. You know, maybe they went in a different direction. Um, and now they want to return because they find you to be someone that kind of grounds them. I also feel like there's communication. You know, there's communication. Somebody's really um, in their emotion, deep in their emotion. Uh, but they also feel a lot of love. They feel a lot of attraction, a lot of respect for you. And this is your energy, protecting yourself, mind, body, and soul, you know, going into, you know, airplane mode, moving, relocating, and healing thyself. This is what I was saying, you know, in order to love thyself, you got to heal thyself. And when you heal thyself, you can love yourself. When you love yourself, then you know thyself. And this is what you had to do. You spent a lot of time in meditation, contemplating, healing, growing self, um, soul searching, um, doing uh, self-reflection, introspective work, seeking higher wisdom and knowledge, you know, calling on your spirit team, doing those, those little rituals to to strengthen um, the connection you have with your ancestors and building your spiritual strength, learning overall that you are good enough, that you are beautiful, that you're attractive, that you're worth everything you desire. And with this abundance, I feel like the divine is saying that they're going to shower you with an abundance of everything you've asked for. And it's because you've healed, you know, this this uh, solar plexus is like um, illuminated, it's glowing. So I feel like that's speaking to you, taking your power back and being strong, finally realizing just how strong you are. But you're in this protective bubble and these individuals that's trying to get at you, you know, they, remember I was saying um, earlier, you know, the seven of wands is like, there's a feminine energy and a protective uh, bubble, you know, very protective of their energy, but you are, um, you're divinely protected is what I'm picking up also. It's like spirit is protecting you. You're receiving divine downloads as well. Highly intuitive, very sensitive to energy. And I also feel like you are sensitive to the fact that you have someone very beautiful, very charming, very charismatic, very um, emotionally intelligent and available that's coming in. This is someone that secretly admires you drawn to you they're going to gift you with flowers they're going to send you a love note message a love text and this is someone that you could potentially be making love to out in the rain you know like this says making love in the rain so maybe this is something this person dreams of you know but this is somebody that will you know just have a picnic just because you know this is somebody that will remember every anniversary this is someone that will make you feel like you have a partner. Someone that you won't have to ask for help. They'll just be there to help you. Because this is someone devoted, you know. This is the makings of love. This is a very loving, caring, empathic soul. And they are attracted to you. And remember, you have um, a new start is coming. Um, leadership, Yemenya, Abundantia, Transformation. Um, green Tara, which is a start delegating. You have bright future, and then you have love and happiness. And then you have this beautiful Knight of Cups here. And this is a knight. You are an empress, so this person isn't quite matching your fly, but at least they're making an attempt. You know, they're, they're coming in with the right energy. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, what messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? Why is this leadership here? Along with all the other messages, Divine Spirit, we have a message of love and of light. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. So we have a lot of messages. Um, and the first one I saw was victory. Victory and success. This is leading to victory. I feel like there's also going to be like a marriage. Other people are going to bear witness to this union. Other people are going to bear witness to 
this relationship coming into fruition, this love connection. Is it like a breakthrough also? So if this is an ex, I feel like the communication will lead to a major breakthrough. You know, this will lead to um, the two of you being on the same page again. The Hierophant is here, so this person could also be very spiritual, very connected, seeking higher knowledge, higher wisdom, wise counsel from elders, from spiritual practitioners. Maybe they're going to their Bibles, you know, looking for instruction. But this does, this connection does lead to um, ascension. It's going to grow, you know, because I see this staircase, you know, so there could be like, um, you know, somebody from a different background, ethnic background, maybe even a different um, spiritual belief. Um, but I do feel like this is a sacred connection, sacred union, and a, a divine one at that. Um, this person will take a leap of faith and, and they will reach out and communicate. They're going to give in to fear. They're, gonna, they're no longer going to be afraid and fearful. This person misses you. They were listening to a bunch of da 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 They thought they was fly. They thought they was, you know, super dope because they had a bunch of options. Only to discover that they was dealing with a bunch of duds. Nothing compares to Scorpio. Only you... You know, made them feel alive, made them feel happy, you know, made them feel anything, you know. I feel like these other energies were just confusing. I feel like, you know, they, they had a lot of, um, you know, there a lot of, uh, you know, there was superficial um, connections. And I feel like they also listened to a lot of da -dun -da -dun. a lot of their friends, you know, influenced their decision. But everything happens in divine timing. I do feel like, you know, all of these things that transpired were necessary. And we have um, switch. They'll never be. So this person knows they'll never be another you, another connection quite like the one they have with you. Which is why they feel like, you know, you complete them. This life, the trinity, this is like the completion of, you know, this is the com the whole. This is it. You know, this is this is this this is the um the lineage, this is the prototype, is the family, the life, you know, that you could have with someone. They definitely know how psychic you are, and you are picking up on this energy. You're also helping them break free, because it says emotions are running high. So this person feels like they'll never be, you know, another connection like the one they share with you, which is why they know they better take action. Their emotions are running high, which means it's intensifying. It's only growing. It's not. Um, it's not alleviating, if you will. Like there's no resolve. There's no. You know. It's like you would think after all this time in separation that their feelings would have subsided, but it's only growing. It's only in like you know um, intensifying, as I said. And with this high priestess, I feel like they're sending you these messages. And you're picking up these messages. This person loves you. This person sees you as their twin flame, yin-yang, divine counterpart. And with this hanged man, they're being forced to look at a connection, to look at their past behavior, to look at everything from a different perspective. They're seeing everything. They'll never be a, a better love is what they're saying. Switch. So they're having a switch, you know, um, in their consciousness. Uh, uh, so there's something that switched within their own consciousness, within their own mind where they're seeing you know what they've been attached to they're seeing even their own behavior you know being that judas being a liar because remember you had you ain't got to lie craig that showed up so it's like that's that was somebody who was deceiving you know very deceiving in the past very dishonest you know embellishing not being transparent they're forced you know the divine is forcing them to look at their past transgressions you know, to look at how they've become. And there's some sort of clarity, some illumination. They're realizing, you know, the roles that they played in sabotaging this relationship. And also the people they was around. You know, all of those damn toxic, hate and ask people that was in secret competitions with them. People that had nothing to offer them. People that saw how special the connection they had with you was and only spoke ill of it to, to confuse them. You know, to... to you know, sabotage this relationship because remember we had um, backstabbing, plotting, scheming, scamming that also showed up. So your person is really um, starting to see these people in their true light, you know, because they'll never be. So they'll never be around these people ever again in life, you know. They'll never be 
um, as easily duped and gaslighted as they may have been. You know, all of the same uh, revelations you had after breaking free from that toxic person, your person is now having that. They'll never be that fool. See this, the, the magi, the magician. You're manifesting this person back. You're manifesting this connection. You're helping this person through, you know, their dark night of the soul journey. You're providing them the illumination, the clarity. You're communicating with them telepathically, intuitively. This is you knowing, all seeing, all knowing. You're also, you know, a high priestess is a healer. They're also the high priest. Remember, you had that 77 spirituality. So the both of you are matching one another's energy. You're both very much um, spiritual practitioners. You're both, so this could be their energy. You could be the high priestess and they're the magician. So both of you are calling one another in, manifesting one another. See this? And they got to walk away from something in order to come towards you. There's a lot of love. And you had to learn, like, you know, um, if you love someone, you got to let them go. And if they return, that means it was meant to be. You know, you let them go, and now they're trying to manifest you back into their life. This is powerful. And so we have Nas, one mic. So, yeah, you both will be, I feel, in one accord is what I'm hearing. But with mic, I feel like, you know, that's how you communicate. That's like, you know, maybe somebody um, is an entertainer or an artist. Maybe they will give you some sort of, you know, dedicate a song to you, dedicate something, you know, but, um, with one mic, Nas, this is called one mic. So one, they feel you're the one. The divine is like the one. They feel you're the one, you know, and we got carnation on the bottom of the deck. It says, keep going, keep growing, be unstoppable. So yeah, keep going, keep growing, be unstoppable. So this is, you know, this is everyone's journey. You don't get stuck and stagnant. You don't get complacent. You know, it, life is about growing, it's about evolving, it's about transforming, you know, and becoming better versions of ourselves. So it's literally about self-mastery, you know, always sharpening our sword, always growing our wealth of knowledge, healing from past pain and not being victims of it, you know. So let's see what we got. Let's cut the deck. I'm going to use my uh, flowers petals to clarify these uh, tarot cards and then we're going to wrap it up bottom of the deck is going to clarify happy ending and we have lily of the valley, uh, valley it says happiness is found with your purpose see this so this is beautiful so happiness is found with your purpose so the purpose of everyone is to be their authentic selves unapologetically to be happy right and so somebody is going to find happiness when they walk away from what no longer brings them happiness or from what they realize doesn't bring them happiness. They're coming to this epiphany by, you know, like I said, you know, having those, um, you know, meditating, getting things straight, connecting to their higher self. You know, they realize you're the one. And this is why they're looking in a whole new direction. They're coming towards you because they realize their happiness is found with their purpose. Their purpose is to be in a domestic a harm, harmonious domestic relationship with you. And it says, Lotus, stand still for now and listen to your life. So they're trying to figure out how to strategize. You know, they're planning, plotting on how to come towards you with this, um, excuse me, 55 um, adventure. And then we have the energy is gaining momentum. And then the eight of wands, undying love. And then you radiate love and light. So it's like, you know, they're trying to figure out how to come toward you, how to take action. Maybe they were still and now they're ready. They're prepared to take that leap of faith, you know. All right, so let's get another message, Divine Spirit. Thank you, Spirit, for that. And so we have Rose. You are divinely loved and protected with grace. See this? So this person, they they love you. And, and deep down, you know, there's this protection over this union like I said the divine um because both of you were connecting to sacred space and so that means that the communication the petitions prayers the affirmations the mantras the daily chants whatever you were spending in your um your manifestation journals it's like your ancestors received those messages and so now you're going to receive wish fulfillment so what you both are a calling in is love, you know, and, and protection. So remember, you had the um, Artemis guardian. 
So this is a spiritually protected union. You know, the ancestors are protecting this connection, um, which is why someone is waking up to the truth of how they were misbehaving, how they were acting, dealing with childish um, behavior, um, even in their new relationship, which is now making them have that epiphany of how they came off when it came to you, you know. Um, but with this rose, you are divinely loved and protected. I feel like they're also, you know, realizing that they are, um, they are loved, you know, whatever, you know, whatever experience they were going through, they're receiving, you know, some sort of assistance from their team, their spirit team. But I also realize how much they love you, how much, um, how much affinity they have toward you, how much love, undying love. It says you are divinely loved and protected with grace. So they definitely pray for your protection. They pray for this union. And they're going to take action with this Eight of Wands. And we have Oshun. It says protect yourself. So yeah, this is what they're trying to do. Because it says you are protected with grace. So yeah, their spirit, their spirit team is protecting them because they can have like a karmic or some, um, some third party energy or entity that's trying to um, like I said before, block them, which is why they was being told to go outside so that they can, you know, receive some fresh perspectives because maybe something in that home is blocking them. Um, and we have blushing bride, your intentions and heart deserve to be known. See that? Something's blocking them. Something's blocking them from communicating um, their truth, you know, from, from being in harmony. You know, it's causing them to be out of equilibrium. And it's this negativity that they're surrounded by. Whatever this energy is, it's it's time to release the negativity so that they could be free. You know, so that they could be a free spirit, a free bird. Remember, you had caged birds. And this ten of swords, this is like, you know, the things around them, the people, places, and things. That's really toxic. That's been just like using them. You know, just like incubus, succubus energy, leeches, parasites, energy vampires. And it's time for them to protect themselves according to Oshun. And Oshun represents, you know, um, love, the love of self, attraction. When you change your energy and vibration, you attract what you are. So it's like they're attracting, they attracted at one point in time something very low vibrational because that's the energy they were vibrating at. And so now when they protect themselves and release themselves of this, then they can draw in what they truly want with this blush and bride. So your attentions and heart need to be known. So they're going to express themselves and eventually walk away, you know, because she's walking away. She's getting out of her head. She's not allowing the mind fuckery, the gaslighting to control her. So this says the sun shines brighter when you're here. This is what they're realizing. Life was brighter. Life was happier. I literally said that. They had joy in their life when they were with you. They had domestic harmony. Whoever they got with, there was none. There was no joy, no happiness. It was all about money, superficiality, material shit, just things that don't matter. They barely got out of the house. They fell into a depression. But with you, the life, you know, the sunshine bright. They felt more alive. They felt more vibrant. And so we have forget me not. They can't forget you or this connection. And so they're trying to protect themselves from this negative energy. And it says, always remain true to your intentions. And so maybe this is what they've learned, that they weren't true to their initial intentions, but they're going to come towards you with that energy, you know, because it says a win-win outcome is um, forecast. So when someone takes their power, finds balance, and comes into alignment, they're going to be more assertive and come towards you. Um, like I said, they're going to communicate. They're going to travel to see you because there is distance. There's been distance created to protect, you know, one's energy because they was already too involved, too engulfed in this relationship in the first place, which is why Green Tara is reminding you in the second chapter, you know, um, in this new chapter, I should say, to start delegating. But you have definitely have someone who cannot forget you. And this person admires that you were true to yourself you stood up for yourself you didn't back down you you know you took your power back and this is what attracts them self-love makes you more attractive and they can't forget you they dream about you a lot they think about you a lot it says you will find what you need in the wisdom of your heritage magnolia 
So some of you all, your heritage is that you're practitioners, especially with the sacred space. I feel like you built your spiritual knowledge. You built your spiritual strength, especially with um, the seven of wands. You can see she's in this protective bubble. So you've learned to protect this yourself, just like Oshun was saying. And we have Chico de Barge Virgin here. So a lot of you were new to the spiritual um, spirituality. And the more time you devoted, the stronger you became, the stronger your strength, your spiritual tr strength was, the stronger you um, felt, the more alive, the more vibrant, the more self-love you felt. And this ultimately led to your redemption. So I feel like a lot of you discovered your, your, your life's purpose path, you know, your soul's mission. So why is abundance here, divine spirit? We get a message of love and light from my beloved Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap it up. And so we have Jasmine. Success will be found if you hold on to hope. See that? Infinite possibilities. Hope is like the star energy being that alchemist co-creating, trusting in the process, sending up prayers and petitions. You know, co-creating with source. That's what divine timing is. I mean, um, you know, the sacred spaces. That's like devoting time and energy in front of those sacred spaces. Meditating, connecting. You know, giving offerings, pouring libation, seeking wise counsel. And that's why there's success being blissed upon you. That's why this abundance card is here because you've learned to manifest. You've learned to master manifest, to call in what you need, what you want, what you desire. Even in terms of love, you got Lotus here, stand still for now and listen to your life. So there's a lot of um, introspective work. I feel like a lot of you've learned from your experiences. And from those experiences, you can now help heal others. Every great healer has to heal themselves. So I feel like a lot of you have been healing, processing. And now you will be, you know, a beacon of light to other people. Help them to awaken to their truth. This leads to victory and success because you're, like I said, living your soul's purpose and path. That's why, you know, Green Tara was telling you. Um, to delegate when necessary because that was part of some of the um, faulty belief systems that you had, faulty um, or bad behaviors, habits that you had in the past. So it's like check for those red flags, but also know that, you know, there's a bright future ahead. And this bright future is because of, you know, something you do creatively or artistically and it's generating some sort of success and stability. So we have keep carnation. What we started with is what we end with. It says keep going, keep growing, be unstoppable. And that's what you're going to be as this leader. You know, I feel like this is, you know, being assertive. This is going after what you want, feeling very balanced, grounded, aligned, you know, in harmony with yourself, having passion. You know, but this is a powerful, fiery new start that's taking place. So your life is going to be very abundant. And I see Chico de Barge and it says uh, Virgin. So I do feel like this is a, a, a fresh start for real because this says, um, you know, a new start is coming. And so when I think of Virgin, I, f I think of, you know, never before, you know, having a particular experience. So this is going to be something that brings a lot of happiness and joy um, because you've had to work very hard to get to this place. And it's going to lead to happiness and victory and breakthroughs. And it says the future is sometimes lost in the wanderings of yesterday. So it's like, you know, release the past, let go of the past. Don't be stuck ruminating and pining over past pain and loss. And, you know, this could be someone else, which is why, you know, they were... Um, being told to, you know, release the past and let it go because it's done, done, Finn, you know. So this is what somebody was dealing with, two fives. Very toxic energy, this very challenging, disheartening. Everybody's in a competition, secret competition with one another. And it leads to nothing but confusion. And so, you know, somebody's going to have to make a decision on their own. Um, we have loose ends, so somebody got to tie up loose ends. And they got to practice courage each day, sunflower. So this is the epiphany. The grand epiphany is that they need to, they need to release this energy here, you know, and they need to go after what they truly desire. So why is um, Mawu, High Priestess, the Ankh life, and um, emotions are running high here? Let me get one more message from Spirit of Love and Light. Thank you. 
And we have gardenia. Listen to the divine whispers, stirrings in your heart. See that? What did I say? You're sending this person divine downloads to tie up those loose ends, to release what no longer serves their highest good. If they're not happy, it's time to let it go. You know, why fight for something that's fighting against you? Why fight for something that's not honoring you? So you're helping them. Like I said, this reminds me of like that Queen of Pentacles, but you have a very divine connection to Mother Gaia. You also came out very uh, grounded and balanced. So I feel like you're helping someone to ground themselves. You're sending them messages telepathically. This is your person, that yin-yang, that twin flame. This is the person you will have a family with, a connection with, and it says, listen to the divine whispers stirring in your heart. So you're sending this person um, telepathic and intuitive messages on how to, to release, to walk away from this toxic um, relationship that they're entangled with. And this says, stay a little while, child. So somebody's trying to get someone to stay longer, you know, but they need to tie up that loose end and they need to walk away. They need to let it go because the person they're dealing with is just a liar, a Judas. They're plotting and scheming on trying to block this divine connection and that's why they're working very hard with multiple people. There could be multiple people. And this is causing someone to feel remorse, regret, shame. Tyrese was singing shame before. And that's because they are confused. They need to go within, take those internal self audits, tap into their higher self. We got play, laugh, and find joy. This is what they need to do. And this is what they realized and they had when they had you. Is that y'all played, y'all laughed a lot. They felt more joyful, more happy around you, more rejuvenated. They're looking at things from a different perspective, different vantage point, and they're seeing how, you know, whoever they're with now um, doesn't bring them that joy and happiness. They bring them pain and agony, stress and aggravation. So let me get one message, and then we're going to wrap it up. Divine Spirit of Love and Light, thank you so much. And so we have Daisy on the bottom of the deck, believe and trust in happiness. So this is what they're doing. They're holding on to this connection with their might. Like I said, there's a lot of communication telepathically and that's how they con that's how they hold on and connect to you. That's the only relationship they have with you. You know, because the two of you are in separation, but it says Lotus, stand still for now and listen to the stirrings of I mean, um and listen to your life. So that's what this is. Stand still. This is standing still. This is not taking action. This is divine putting your person in a sacrificial position. You know, stay a little while is, is, is um, playing right now. So they got to stay in this position for a little while until they get that grand epiphany. And they do eventually have some sort of illumination and clarity and realize what it is they want. And I see this clock or this watch, excuse me. And it looks like they're going to, you know, it's going to happen in divine time. And we have Dahlia. You have what it takes. So they're going to muster up that strength. They're going to realize that they have what it takes. And they're going to go after. They're going to believe and trust in happiness again. So they're going to know, you know, what to do when they come out of this hangman position. You know, this is like a teachable moment for them. You know, but they're reflecting on everything. Their past transgressions, the relationship they're in, the relationship that they had with you, the dynamic that they had. They're looking at friends. You know, they're realizing they got a lot of snake energy around them. People giving them misinformation. There's been a lot of betrayal and hurt in the past. I feel by the, you healing from that, you know, you've learned how to be a great healer. And so now you could be a healer to your divine masculine, your twin flame, your kindred spirit, your kindred soul. Because someone is finally realizing, waking up to the truth that someone's using them only for money, security, stability. And there's no love there. But they do feel this love with you. See you as a divine feminine. See you as someone very strong. Someone that they cannot forget. Someone that's always been very positive. You're true to yourself. You stand in your power. You know who you are. And you're not, you're not like apologizing for that. And this is something that draws them to you. That attracts them to you even more. And they also see the errors in their ways. They also see... You know, because, you know, growth is about accountability, taking responsibility for your actions. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you Scorpios have had to do the same thing. You know, this is finally seeing the truth in the situation, finally gaining the, gaining the clarity of even your role, your position, taking onus, you know, 
but your person is coming in they're breaking free from a Judas energy from a toxic energy this energy is trying to keep them stuck and stagnant trying to keep them in limbo trying to block this love connection but there's no blocking it because it is divine and both of you are protected both of you have very strong connection to your spirit team your ascended masters your ancestors your angels they are watching over you and this union so whatever psychic attacks, spiritual attacks, whatever anyone is doing to try to block this uh, beautiful blessing, this beautiful connection, it will not be successful. If In fact, they're going to receive karma. They're going to receive their just due. You know, I feel like because you've remained very positive in this process, Scorpios, you have good karma coming in. You have that Abundantia card, Abundance. You have Lakshmi. And I feel like it's because you fully transformed and you've taken on this new identity. You've emerged as someone brand new. And you've learned a lot in this journey, in this process, which is why now you can teach. This is a teachable um, circumstance. You know, you are both the student and the teacher at the same time. And I feel like your person taught you lessons of self-love and about, you know, prioritizing your needs and you're teaching them the same, you know, because sometimes you attract what you are. This person was in a low vibration and they attracted a Judas incubus succubus energy to them somebody superficial only loves you know the glittery shiny things in life you know and so that's what they attracted now they're realizing that's not what you know that that's not what keeps their boat afloat you know what does is someone that done moved away that that's you you know you moved on you moved away to find your own stability and happiness and in that they're now realizing in your absence how much they miss you this is a beautiful, beautiful reading, Scorpios. I hope that the message has resonated for you. Um, if you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever it, I upload. Um, keep in mind this is a general reading, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones, all right? If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Don't try to force a story to be a story, okay? Um, for all of my returned um, soul family, soul tribe members, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. And I just want to say thank you again for tuning and tapping in. I want to send a big love um, energy to, you know, my home team, the Bronx, suffering that major loss yesterday. That is very painful. I'm like still thinking about it. I'm like trying not to obsess over it, but my heart is super heavy today. But um, thank you all for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, Ashe.